Hello friend, welcome back. If you are new here, request you please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming updates. Thank you. What is test Rigor path in Selector Sub? And how to use it in your Selenium script? So recently you must have seen when you open Selector Sub. So you might have noticed that there is a test Rigor path in Selector Sub. So <coughs> what does that mean? How can we use it? What is the use of this? So this you can consider it as the uh, reference for the element, reference of the element. Like if I have to, like we have to tell, click on this element. We cannot tell like, uh, if, if I ask you to click on this element, I will have to tell you like, click on test case studio. I cannot say, I cannot tell you that click on double forward slash a normalize space is equal to test case studio. So for each element in the web, we used to have a reference. We used to call that element by some name, by some reference, uh, by, by some label name, you can say, or better, you can say that you call every element by its selector name. So test Rigor path here is the reference for each and, each and every element in the web page. So if we inspect, let's say, <coughs> If we inspect this element, so here you got the X path and this you got the reference. So this X path is for enter email field. Like if you inspect any element, this one enter your company. So here you got the X path, you got the selectors, you got the uh, JS path, jQuery, everything. So this is the reference or you can say the name of that element. So this is the reference basically and how you can use it in your uh, Selenium script because many of you write the uh, Selenium script or any kind of script if you will be writing. Generally, we always write in like page object model. So we write uh, X path at one place and uh, then we use the reference, whatever reference name we used for that particular uh, X path. So like generally you must have seen this kind of X uh, format written at find by x path is equal to this at cache lookup private web element and then the name or reference for that x path and this reference name you use it in your script like test case studio then dot click something like this training <coughs> so that way this is basically the reference for that particular element and you can use this as the reference name reference variable for that particular x path in your framework whichever framework you are using i'm sure pretty much sure that you don't use your x path directly in the script you always write in this kind of format where you write the x path and for every x path you write a name that what will be the name of name for that x path for that selector which you will be using in your coding which you will be using in your basically a script so that reference it is and now if you are using a test rigor tool then this is amazing test trigger tool is a very good tool which is used to like basically test in plain english you can say so if you are uh, using this tool and you are writing your uh, uh, test steps because what this tool does it used to convert your manual english test cases uh, that simple english uh, sentences into play uh, automation script so you need not to waste time there so if you are writing the steps there then uh, and you are using test trigger uh, tool in that case you can use this path like you just inspect the element if you don't understand that what uh, what path should i give uh, what what name i should use for this element to uh, use to write the steps in test trigger path tool in that case you just inspect that element or you right click here and uh, direct from the context menu you can copy this test trigger path here and in the tool you can write this path like this so this way this will help you guys a lot to save time and many times in many situations uh, some people are uh, we are not able to identify what name should we give for this element in this in that case selectors will help you guys a lot this test trigger path will help you guys a lot to automatically like immediately without even giving second thought like if you inspect any element this immediately you got to know that okay this is a good reference 
for this variable i can use this in my script or in my uh, test trigger tool to uh, write the steps so this is helpful in the, uh, all the aspects and it will save some time for you and easily you can identify that yes okay for this element this is the path so i hope you found it useful and this this is really helpful feature and definitely it will uh, save time, some time for you guys and it will uh, make it easy for uh, to write the label name to write the reference name for each and every element in the page or for any element in the page you can say better so if even if like element is inside shadow dom then also you are getting the test trigger path so this will help you to uh, like <coughs> get the reference for that element even if the element will be like anywhere in iframe then also you will get that uh, test trigger path and also you will get this, this help that this is inside iframe so that also it will help you so this is a really helpful feature and uh, it's a quick tutorial about this thing i hope you liked it please let me know your thought in the com comment section and how what is the command and how you are using this test trigger path you are going to use it in your automation script please do let me know thank you and keep sharing keep uh, helping people to know about slack to sub innovation and help them to uh, save their time with that thank you thank you so much